remember that you're in a movie. That's the first thing to keep in mind. Many of you get confused and you say, I am this character living this life. I'm in this story and this story is real and that's just the way it is. But that's just the perspective of ego. That's it. And there's nothing wrong with that perspective. That's not a bad perspective or a lesser perspective. It's just a superficial perspective because what you actually are is that observer, is that personal source that is a fractal of the collective source. And that source is experiencing this reality just like you experience watching a movie. Yes, the movie can move you. Yes, the movie can bring you to different realizations. Yes, the movie can challenge you. Yes, the movie can inspire you. But ultimately, you know it's just a movie. You're not taking things personally. To take things personally, truly, is to operate from the level of ego. And again, we're not saying that's wrong. But if you find that you're being personally affected by many of the things in the world around you, you're taking offense, you're taking things personally, you're being hurt by other people. And we're speaking, of course, about the idea of social hurtings, emotional hurtings. If you're being physically hurt by someone, that's another subject matter altogether. Something else must be done. But in this instance, if you're taking things personally, if you find you're very sensitive, you're being offended, you're being bothered by the world around you, it's because you have mistaken your identity. You have become the character in the story rather than recognizing that you are the observer of this movie. When you can perceive yourself as the observer of life, just as you observe a movie, what you'll find is you embody the phrase being in the world and not of the world. You will find there is no entanglement. No entanglement can be formed. No negative attachment can be formed. No attack can reach you because you are operating on the foundational level that represents the source level itself. And again, that source level is above and beyond all conceivable experiences. It gives rise to all of this, the manifest reality, so it's capable of having experiences. That's why your body and your ego are formed, because this is the level where experience can be had. But this level is just a dream. The levels that are more foundational are those experienceless source levels, which you can tune into now through just imagining what you're experiencing around you is a movie. Even the sensations of your body, its aches, its pains, its itches, these are not you. These are sensations that the body is having in the movie that you're creating. So this perspective of observing your life as if it is a movie, as if it is a film, is not disassociation at all. Rather, it is involvement. Because through recognizing that you are fundamentally none of the things that you experience, you begin to return to what you fundamentally are, source. And that is the source of all power. That is the source of all potential. That is the source of miracles. And as you rest in that abode, what you will find is you're then capable of actually responding to those things that challenge you in your life, but in a way that is uplifting, in a way that is nurturing, in a way that is inspiring and appropriate. So that's what we would advise. Don't take life so seriously through recognizing that your life is a movie. Apply the same logic that you apply to your films and watch what happens. You'll find everything within your world begins to shift rather rapidly you'll also find that there's less of a sense of pressure. You won't feel like things are personally affecting you as much because in that moment, you will not really be a person. You'll be a God. And we mean that. You won't be a human anymore when you do that. You will become a God because that's what many of you think of source as, a God, a goddess. So when you rest in the abode of source through seeing through the eyes of source, you become like a god. So you won't take things personally because you're not really a person at that moment. You're not indulging the little self. Therefore, there's no room to really take things personally. Doesn't mean you won't experience pain. Doesn't mean you won't experience negative emotions, but you won't take them personally. So have fun with that.